Hello and welcome to my meditation. My name is Deborah Baker and I'm so grateful that you have joined me for this little while. We are going to meditate today about safety and we've been doing this for a couple weeks now and uh, we can't heal unless we feel safe and so we are going to explore some ways through meditation that we can feel more safe. So let's get started. As usual, let's begin with our three nice, really deep breaths. <sighs> uh, breathing in really deeply, filling up our bellies and then releasing the breath slowly. And now take the deepest breath you've taken all day. Fill up your belly and let it go. And let's now relax our bodies to prepare for meditation because if we are tense anywhere in our body, it makes it harder to meditate. So let's imagine our feet and our legs softening, all of our muscles going to a neutral position, our bodies relaxing. <sighs> feel your legs and feet get heavy and now feel that relaxation in your pelvis, lower back, hips, lower tummy, midsection. Imagine all of your internal organs going to a nice resting position. We're doing whatever it is they need to do. And then imagine your, all of your muscles going to a neutral position. Feel it in your rib cage, your back, under your arms, your chest. And now feel that relaxation in your hands your arms. Feel all the muscles in your arms go to a neutral position. And now feel it in your shoulders, your neck, all around your head. And just feel your whole body let go. Give your body permission to relax and let go. And now let's think about the things over which we have power. We are powerless over the things outside of ourselves, but we do have power over our own thoughts, words, and actions. This isn't new. <laughs> Let's just take a moment to enjoy this moment. So one of the ways that we can feel safe in our thoughts is to be fully present in the moment. Sometimes the, the places where we feel unsafe are in the past. We remember things that were awful or that were scary or, you know, hurtful. And so let's let go of that and return to the present where we are safe. And sometimes the places where we are unsafe are, are, are our projections of the future. We are afraid something's going to happen. We are anticipating the worst. You know, fear, dread, worry, all that stuff. And we can choose not to feel that. We can choose not to focus our thoughts on it. So we're talking about our thoughts. So let's just have a little bit of quiet to be in the present moment. There are the occasional butterfly and bug flying past the daylily on the screen. But I mostly encourage you to have your eyes closed and just be in this moment. Be aware of the temperature in the room, how you feel if you're lying down or if you're sitting down. Make sure your body is comfortable and you are situated nicely. <sighs> and let's
let's just think about everything is okay. We are safe in this moment. We are safe in this moment. And the truth was, there was a time in my life when I could have moments of being safe, but I wasn't safe in my overall life. You know, it was, I was in an abusive relationship, and so it, it wasn't safe. It was, I never knew, you know, when the abuse was going to show up next and what it was going to look like. And, uh, but I could create moments of safety. And so if you are in a place where you don't feel safe all the time, maybe it's not a safe workplace, or maybe it's someone you live with, or someone that you are friends with, whatever it is, know that in this moment you are safe. And so we're going to have a few moments of silence, or you could just hear the water as you feel safe as you become aware of being safe. And I invite you now to ask your own spirit guides and guardian angels to help you to become aware of your thoughts. And when you are thinking thoughts that are creating a sense of unsafety. I was talking to a friend earlier today who was getting ready to take a trip and she said she was so worried about, you know, something would go wrong or she'd forget something or she was creating all of this sense of unsafety even though there wasn't any rational, real reason to feel that way. And so then she became aware of feeling that way, and then she had options. When we are aware that we are thinking thoughts that are creating a sense of anxiety, or a sense of fear, or dread, or shame, or anger, or, or sorrow, or sadness, when we become aware that we are feeding those thoughts, we can make a decision to change them. So we have control over our thoughts, words, and actions. So let's take a moment to think about a time when we felt completely safe and maybe happy or joyful. to recognize that we can create a sense of safety by focusing on the good things, by focusing on things that make us happy, focusing on things, maybe relationships. You know, all I have to do is think about the faces of my grandchildren and I feel a sense of joy. And so we can control our thoughts. We choose our thoughts, whether we are aware of it or not. So we ask our guides, spirit guides, guardian angels, the universe, the infinite, God, whatever your word, your, your preference, we ask for the awareness of when our thoughts are, are not in alignment with safety. And now let's focus on our words. What are we saying? I suggest if you hear yourself saying, I'm worried, you are focusing on something you don't want. And what we focus on increases. So again, let's just spend a moment 
inviting all of our spirit guides, guardian angels to be present with us as we focus on choosing words of safety and peace, love, serenity. There's whole meditations we can do on this concept, but we're talking about safety now, and so thinking about how we speak our safety. For example, I, I'm afraid to go there, or I'm afraid to uh, be with that person, I, or I'm afraid to do this, or, you know, I just don't feel comfortable in that situation. To recognize what's behind that. So there may be a, a, a really good reason why you don't want to be in that situation and I suggest that you honor yourself and your own intuition and also to be honest with yourself. Is this because I don't want to? Because I have some preconceived notion not based in fact? Or is this something that my guides are guiding me to, to be in a safe place? So when you are using words, I invite you to take a moment and ask your spirit guides, guardian angels, God, the infinite, to guide your words. So we'll have a few moments. And the affirmation is, I speak words of safety for myself and others. create a safe place and a safe life for myself. And now let's think about our actions and what we do, what we do, our actions that create a safe place for ourselves or not. So my sense is that most of us make an effort to put ourselves in safe situations. And I think where it gets slippery is when you figure out you have an experience with someone that just really didn't make you feel emotionally safe or maybe even physically safe. If you're riding in a car with someone and you feared for your life or even just didn't feel comfortable with the way they drove or you're having a conversation with someone and they are very critical and you find yourself joining in on the criticism just to kind of because that's where you know the conversation is heading or you find yourself, you know, with people or in situations that just don't feel comfortable, I suggest the first step is to be really honest with yourself and to imagine your heart is this soft, precious, vulnerable, sacred space that deserves to be honored and respected. And at the same time, for you to do things that you enjoy. So you have an assignment for this week, and that is to make a list of 10 things that you enjoy doing. 
I did this last night as I was falling asleep and I realized that there were some places in me that some long-held patterns and beliefs that kept me from doing what I enjoy. So I love to sew and I have a beautiful sewing room in my house. But when, it, when I have some free time, I think, okay, what, what am I supposed to be doing? Should I be, you know, unloading the dishwasher or throwing in a load of laundry or calling someone or, you know, any of a number of things where I undermine my own joy? And I don't think I'm alone in that. And when we are in our joy, when we are in our happy place, we are safe. So let's think about one thing that we enjoy doing. Don't, don't lay any guilt on yourself and think about how long it's been since you've done it. Just think about one thing that you enjoy doing. I invite you to message me and let me know what your list is or that you've written it and the assignment is to write it down not just have it in your head but write it down feel free to make a comment on my YouTube channel and make your list there I'm sure other people would enjoy reading your list and you may give them some ideas. So the driving force behind this med meditation is to empower us since we choose our own thoughts, words, and actions, there are lots and lots of ways that we can choose to make the world a safe place. To create safe places, to create safe thoughts, so that we can thrive in these lives and not just survive, but thrive and heal those deep, deep wounds that we're not even aware of. Take a nice deep breath. I invite you to commit to yourself. In the week ahead, my thoughts, my words, and my actions are going to support my healing. I'm going to choose safe thoughts, safe, safe words, and safe actions. <sighs> As you can see, I've moved inside. My neighbor needed to mow their lawn and it is 90 some degrees outside pretty warm so that was that's a brave neighbor wanting to go out in that kind of heat and oh, I congratulate you on showing up on listening to these meditations giving yourself this time for yourself and going down the journey with me of becoming safe I feel like when we all become safer to ourselves, we create this, this network of healing that, that is gonna blanket the earth. I know that I can create safe places for other people. And my next challenge is to create safe places for myself and I wonder how many of you are the same. So let's take one final nice deep breath all the way down to our tailbone. 
Hold it for a second. <sighs> Blow it out. And remember that you are already whole and perfect exactly the way you are. And I hope in the couple of years I've been saying this to you in every meditation that that started to sink in. And if you've just started tuning in, they're all on my YouTube channel if you want to you want to listen, Healing Deborah. Ah, so the infinite presence moving in through and as me honors and recognizes, sends un unlimited, unconditional love to you. Honoring the infinite presence moving in through and as you. <sighs> Namaste.